God bless you. God bless you. Please let us begin to share um, this live broadcast. Let us begin to share. Let us begin to share. John Salim Abani share uh, live broadcast. As you are connecting, as you are joining us, I want you to please begin uh, to share. God bless you as you do that in the mighty name of Jesus. Welcome to VOA TV Live. <laughs> God bless us. God bless us. I welcome every one of you here in the name of the Lord Most High. I welcome you to this great platform in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that like before, this live broadcast shall be a great blessing to you and to your family in the mighty name of Jesus. Please let us begin to share this live broadcast. And as we are sharing, I me not Joe. Please let us share this live broadcast as we are thanking our God. Echo Jaka, Ejaka share, Bashing, Toyo, Unin, Watoshi, Umulo Tola, Timai Bega, is worthy of all our praises of our honor and adoration. Yes, welcome to VOA. Welcome to VOA, children of God. We are starting the program in a few minutes. Please uh, get your bottle of water ready. As you can see, this is mine. Get your bottle of water ready. Oni mani agbara. I feel one more on Lord or not. I want not to wear cold. Lati be si ni to si lati of the Lord. Uh, the steps that you need to take, the principles involved for you to begin to get on in that provision. That is what we are looking at. That is what we are looking into today. Uh, I don't want you to miss it. Please get your bottle of water ready. We are going to use this as a part of contact. We are going to pray with this to make sure you have it. God bless you. Thank you, Lord. From ignorance to knowledge, from watering to discovery, from hopelessness to hopefulness. Hey, ewa ba mi jo eke ka jo jo eke ka kori fe. Welcome to VOA. God bless you. Eje ka shia e. Grace Aro wo she be esta oluwa bumi ola olu kowora. Prince Manuwa. God bless you, sir. Titi lokwe adele e bada ru. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, laugh, call our Wale, Antonia, Oluke, me, I love and I Thomas. Let us share. I just can share. I just can share. At the bank, at Bolari, God bless you. Welcome to VOA. Let us share this live broadcast. Today is going to be powerful. Welcome to VOA. This is the platform where we praise God, where we pray to God, and then we receive live unfailing prophecies. I welcome you to the presence of God, and I declare in the mighty name of Jesus that as for this moment, your story is changing for good. In the name of Jesus, Lati is scheduled. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Antonia. Oh, look at me. I love her. God bless you. As from this moment, your story is changing for good. You are moving from story to glory in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Welcome to VOA. God bless you. I welcome you to this great platform. And I declare in the mighty name of Jesus that it shall be uh, a great day of encounter for us all in the name of Jesus. I would like us to please uh, share this live broadcast. 
as we are starting the program right away. I welcome all and sundry. I welcome you before the presence of the Lord God Most High. And I decree that it shall be a great day of divine encounter for us all in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Where that elevation, that place of celebration that they thought you will never reach in your life till you die, as you are sharing this live broadcast, I see the mercy of the Lord taking you even far beyond. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, the first 10 people to share this live broadcast go and encounter uncommon mercy. I want to cut it to one God, because of the reason of today's live broadcast, in the mighty name of Jesus, call the Lord Yamole. In the name, in the name, in the name, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, in the name of Jesus. 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 I welcome every one of you to this great platform and I decree in the name of Jesus that you shall encounter God today. We shall all encounter uh, God's faithfulness and God's righteousness in the mighty name, in the mighty name of Jesus. I welcome you to this great platform. God bless you, man. God bless you. God bless you. Nice avenue here. Eje ka share. I won nu eko to ni lo o ma ni agbara loko loko. O ma ni agbara and I don't want you to miss it. Seven principles of uh, of divine provision. Seven principles of divine provision. Yes, seven principles of divine provision. That is what we are going into. And as we are getting prepared to do that, I need you to get your bottle of water readily available. I am not going to waste uh, our time today. I'm not going to bore us. Uh, I'm just going to spend like one hour. I'm just going to spend like one hour with us today. And I pray that that... Uh, one hour is going to be a story changer for us all. That one hour is going to be uh, a moment of life transforming experience in the mighty name of Jesus. We are looking at the seven principles of divine provision. The seven principles of divine provision. Why are we looking into the seven principles of divine provision? Because it is our amount of divine provision. That is reason number two. Uh, reason number one. And reason number two is because the grace of the Lord is plenty in the house and in the atmosphere at this time to uh, begin to provide for us and then to begin to bless us. Those of you that are, are clicking like and love, God bless you mightily. Or what in fanita you are when they bury, Lord God Jesus, I bury, see me she she from a yeny lati she jui. That mighty hand of God that lifts man high up above his contemporaries. That mighty hand shall begin to work in your life as from this moment in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We glorify your name for this wonderful opportunity. 
We say be exalted in the name of Jesus. Let everything that we shall be doing today, Lord, be guided and guarded, O Lord, from your presence. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, O Lord, that we will not speak out of your will today. We pray that our utterance, our thoughts, everything today shall be guided, Lord, from you in the name of Jesus. As we continue in this ministration, your presence, your power, your spirit, your fire for great victory and vengeance shall be with us in the name of Jesus. Every bottle of water in your hands is receiving power now. I sanctify that water in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are watching me from, let the mercy of God locate you right there in the name of Jesus. As you are listening to the discourse of divine provision, you will never run out of God's provision in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we invite you into our midst officially. And we decree that you shall walk wonders in our midst today in the name of Jesus. Thank you, gracious Father. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. So, our uh, brethren, like I've told us today, we are um, we are uh, looking at the seven principles of uh, provision, and we are using First Kings chapter seventeen as a case study. In this teaching series, we shall be um, we shall be looking at different case studies. We shall be looking at different things that the Lord have done, different ways that the Lord has moved in the lives of his people, and we shall be using it as a case study uh, to bless our lives as well. So today we are looking at the book of First Kings, the book of First Kings chapter 17 as a case study. So I need you to grab your uh, grab your Bible. I need you to grab your Bible as we uh, begin to look at the scriptures. We are looking at uh, the power of God's provision in the lives of Elijah and that widow of Zarephath. So that is what we are looking at today seven principles i will start by letting you know this truth by letting you know this reality that it is the business and the responsibilities of god to ensure that you are always in his provision on a daily basis the bible says blessed be the name of the lord our god who loaded us with benefits daily so it is the responsibility of god over your life to ensure that you are always in his provision another thing that i want you to know that the first experience of the love of god to man was in the order or in the line of provision it was by providing for man that god demonstrated his love to human race at the beginning of all ages they sinned unto god they were supposed to be judged to be condemned and to be destroyed but after punishing them, he discovered that they lack clothing, they lack garments, they were naked. He discovered that there was nothing to cover their nakedness as a result of the sin that they dipped their hand into. And in order to show them love, what did he do? He provided for them. So, the first act of benevolence that man received from God, the, for, the first act of his kindness and love that man received from God was the work of provision. He discovered that they lacked something. They lacked 
covering on their physical body. They were naked. He wanted to send them out of the garden, but he did not want to send them out naked. Agbara to fe ko jade ni le okoye ni woho. Agbara to fe ko jade ni bi shenye la erin kan kan mudane. Iru agbara be oyako bwina son bae. In the name of Jesus, they have to go out of Eden, but they must not go out naked. Because it wasn't, it is not in the pleasure of God for any man to be naked. So what can we do in order to cover their nakedness? He said, let us provide, let us provide a covering for them. So the first gift that man received from God was a gift of provision. And ever since the Lord did that, he is still in the business of provision. He is still, till today, till tomorrow, he will still remain our provider. Now the question is, if God still remains our provider, if God is still in the business of provision, then how come I am not receiving his provision? Then how come you, have not, you are not receiving his provision? How come there are a lot of people in the world today that lack his provision? What is going on? What may be the reason? What may be the cause? That is what the Lord has raised me at this time to bring to your notice. To bring to your notice seven principles, seven techniques of getting His provision, of constantly dwelling in the provision of God. And in order to make it very, very clear to you, uh, we are going to be looking at uh, the covenant in the book of 1 Kings chapter 17, we are actually using that as a reference point to buttress all our points. And I don't want you to miss every dictate of what I have brought to you today. So, number one principles of divine provision. If you have ever dreamt or imagined or prayed for God's unending provision in your life, then you must listen and attentively and grab the power in these seven principles that I'm about to share. Not only grabbing the powers in these seven principles, but living in these principles. Listen. Being a Christian does not guarantee that you will be rich. <laughs> Being a born again does not guarantee that you are going to be wealthy. We pay in your jet Christian, you pay in your jet on Monday Christian, you fear year of Jesus. Obesin, baby, I hear you will be more co guarantee a co pido do pay your logo. The fact that you are living a holy life, a life of holiness, a life of righteousness, you don't miss church, you go to church, you are God-fearing and that and blah and blah. It does not guarantee your riches, your wealthiness. Now, so why am I being born again for? Why am I born again for? Why am I a Christian for? You are, you, you are born again, you are a Christian, you are living a life of holiness and righteousness to be able to end into the kingdom of God. The only thing that all that will guarantee is your salvation, that when you die, at the moment they meet you, the crown, the only crown that I have prepared is waiting for you. You are, your, your, your salvation is guaranteed. But being a born again, being a Christian, living a life of holiness and righteousness does not guarantee your wealth that you will be rich. Now, Becoming a rich Christian, becoming a wealthy Christian is based on some principles that must be followed. There are a lot of bajesu, a lot of baba bajesu, a lot of yag bajesu in different churches today that are living from hand to mouth. 
and then we begin to we begin to look at it. Are they under a, one kind of causes or the other? No, it is because their eyes have been blinded or their eyes have been deaf to their ears is deaf to some principles, so that you would not be a Christian and be living in lack or want or living a life of mystery. That is why I have brought these seven principles. I want to let it tell it. For lottery, there is a there is a difference between being blessed. There's a difference between receiving his blessings and receiving his provision. Receiving his blessings and receiving his provision. When you are provided for it, may cost you nothing. You just receive his provision. But it doesn't just come like that. There are principles that you must follow. So Principle number one can be found. I told you we are going to be using the book of First King chapter 17 as our anchor scripture today. So if you have your Bible with you, quickly open uh, to First Kings chapter 17. Let us take verse verses 1 and 2. First Kings chapter 17 verses 1 and 2. And Elijah the Tishbite, who was of the inhabitants of Gilead, said unto Ahab, And the Lord God of Israel liveth before whom I stand there shall... Uh, uh, not be due nor rain these years, but according uh, to my word. And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, saying, the Lord, the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Get the ends and turn thee eastward, and I thyself by the brook chariot that is before Jordan. That is verse 3, verse 4. And it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook. And I shall come, and I have commanded the ravens to feed the deer. Verse 5. So he went and did according to the word of the Lord. He went and did according to the voice of the Lord. Listen, something happened in verse 1. And Elijah the Tishbite said unto Ahab, as the Lord God of Israel liveth before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain this year, but according to my word. Not according to the word of the Lord, but according to my word. That At that time, Elijah was de demonstrating his power. He was operating in the fullness of his power as a prophet. But when he told you, I share you, Tabia bara wuli, tabia butafu, lati fi se orun yi bukun le pa. Eh, I am decreeing in the mighty name of Jesus as a prophet now, as a prophet now, as a prophet now, that that heaven is open. By a prophet, the Israelites were led into the wilderness. By a prophet, they were delivered and led to the promised land. I don't know any form of prophet that has shut your heavens. But I am sitting down right here and ministering to your life that as the Lord live it in the name of Jesus. I am stand sitting before you as a prophet and I am reversing it and I say it is open now in the name of Jesus. So Elijah demonstrated power that there shall be famine in this land. I decree as the Lord live it as from today famine has come to an end in your land in the name of Jesus. Drought has come to an end in your family in the name of Jesus. Tabari dile kan tabi e keji ton wo mi lowo ton la awon akoko iyan tabi ai ni kan koja. If there is a family or an individual that is watching me now and you are passing through a period of lack, a period of nothing, I decree in the name of Jesus, by the fullness of his grace in my life, by the fullness of his oil upon my head, I decree now that period has come to an end. In the name of Jesus. Listen, prophecy operates like fire. Prophecy operates like fire. 
prophecy operates like fire, who is a respecter of nobody. Elijah prophesied that there shall be famine in that land, and there was famine. This famine and the prophecy affected Elijah himself. He was so famished, he was so hungry. Yes, he didn't even know what to do. But because the Lord will never depart from his own, he, the Bible says, and the word of the Lord came unto him in verse 2. The Bible says, and the word. At that time, because of his prophecy, there was famine in the land, there was lack in the land, there was poverty in the land, there was no food in the land, everything was upside down, there was economic recession in the land, and everyone was confused, but in, in spite, in spite of this lack, in spite of this famine, in spite of this economic recession, in spite of, it, of this hopelessness, in spite of, of this hopelessness, Homelessness, in spite of this hunger, the, 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 the only thing that Elijah received was his word. In verse, in verse 1, there was famine, but in verse 2, concerning Elijah, the Bible says, And the word of the Lord came unto him. Listen, when you are passing through turmoil, when you are passing through rancor, when you are passing through disorganization, when you are passing through a period of famine, a period of lack, a period of poverty, the only thing that you need that can rescue you and bring you out of that ugly situation is the word. Let somebody type the word. If you are getting it, let somebody type the word. Ah, if, if you understand what we are talking about, let somebody type the word. The word. The word. A belong by Elijah. O ye ki on je to wa ni. Shubon ki on je to wa. Ni verse 2. Nye 1 King chapter 17 verse 2. Bi be li wibbe oro olon un shi to Elijah wa. Bi oro olon un kopa koko jade. Solution ou le jade. I must speak to someone. God bless you. Antonia, Olukemi, Aloba. The word of the Lord is settling your case today. Yes, Grandma Abiodun Adesonya. The word of the Lord is visiting your family with grace prosperity today. Ola Olufowora, Modupe Ayegusi Jip. Ah! Ma Mireo, Mami Ayegusi Ma. Modupaleo. <laughs> the word of the Lord is visiting your ministry today, man. In the name of Jesus, the word, the word, the word of the Lord is visiting you. A belong pa Elijah on jello fair so bon to coco shelepe or a local jaddy. And that is why I congratulate you if you are watching us live now. Some people are still going to join us. When they discover that I'm not calling prayer point, we begin to pray, oh, or uh, the Lord open my eyes and my ears, and I begin to say, I don't see the Lord. I saw the person, Jadi Mubesin, you know, he began to worry about the platform. And that is why I was saying, look, I can't read the platform here. I was saying, look, I can't read the platform here. I was saying, look, I can't read the platform here. I was saying, look, I can't read the platform here. I was saying, look, it is not that vision or that uh, this one or that one that will bring you the solution. It is the word. It is the word. It is the word that was famine in the land. That was lack in the land. That was confusion in the land. There was recession in the land. There was poverty in the land. There was hopelessness in the land. And everyone was confused in the land. But for somebody, the Bible says, and the word of the Lord came unto Elijah. I am speaking to 15 families that can type 15. Amen. I decree in the name of Jesus the word that will settle you, the word that will bring you out, the word that will announce you, the word that will turn you to a blessing before, between now and the next 15 minutes. That word will visit your life. It will visit your family. It will visit your home. It will visit your business in the name of the Lord. So, the world came to Elijah that do this, do this, do that. This is where we are going. In verse 5, the Bible says, So he went and did according unto the word of the Lord. For he went and dwelt by the brook chariot that is before Jordan. In verse 2, the word 
came to Elijah, do this in verse 5. So he went and did according to the word. To the word. There was no missing or twisting of the word. There was no delaying. There was no tarrying. There was no staying. Go and do this. In verse 5, he rose and he went. So, number one principles of receiving God's divine provision is total obedience to God. Total obedience to God. Total obedience to God. What do I mean by total obedience to God? Total obedience to God is disconnecting from your common sense. Disconnecting from your common sense. Disconnecting from your human reasoning. Disconnecting from what you know and relying completely from what relying completely on what he is telling you. Total obedience. Total obedience. Disregarding your common sense. But relying on his mercy alone. He did your polock or sherry, we see your lord when you will pay what you call more lord or silly. But boy, Babor and you know, told the shiloa. Some people have, you know, they are they are liable to the word of the Lord. They trust the word of their pastor more than the word of God. They trust in the word of their parents more than the word of God. It is easy for some people to obey the words of their husbands more than obeying the word of God. Listen, if you are still in the habit of labeling or being rebellious to the word of the Lord, then you are not yet ready for the the kind of provision that we are talking about. There was famine in the land. Elijah, Bera, Bai, Baby, Bai, Babia, Patabai, Bai, Bile, Bai, Odo, Kekere, Kawambe, Lord Joko, Sibe. Now, Elijah, rise up. Move, walk by the end of this mountain to this brook. You'll find a little river. Sit down there. That is what I'm going to feed you. Elijah is not supposed to believe in such force. Before, because with human reasoning, there was no sense in doing that because there was great famine in the land. There was great famine. Instead of you to tell me, go to embassy, I have prepared a white lady for you to give you American visa, run away. Instead of you to tell me, go to UK embassy, go to Canadian embassy, run away to UK, run away to Canada because of lack that was in the land. You are now telling me, relocate from Lagos and go to Obumosho. I have prepared something to make you a blessing. Does it make sense? Does it make sense? Many times, the information that will turn us, that will make us somebody, doesn't make sense to our reasoning. If it makes sense to you, then God is not in it. But if he's telling you to do it and it doesn't make sense to you, if you try to obey, then God is set because he is ready. He, his power confuses the foolishness of man. He confuses the, 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 the wisdom of man to foolishness. I just hope I'm ministering to somebody. So, number one principle of divine provision, starting from today till the end of your life, is total obedience to God. You see, this kind of obedience may not be convenient. It may not be convenient for you. It may be stupid. <laughs> it may seem to be impossible. But what are you supposed to do? What are you expected to do? Just obey. Just obey. Just obey. Abraham, sir. Abraham, sir. Abraham, sir. I have decided in my mind to make you a great blessing and to bless the whole world through you. Yes, sir. 
So what do I need to do, sir? Abraham, rise now. Depart. Leave your father's properties. Leave your father's mansion. Yes, sir. Leave the bank account. Yes, sir. Don't take a single pin out of the properties of your father. Yes, sir. Where to, sir? Where are you taking me, sir? To a place. What, where, where is the address, sir? Just go. How do I get there? Just move. What will I do when I get there? Just go. To where, sir? To a place. And the Bible says, and Abraham got up. And it began to move. If you ask Abraham, where are you going to? I don't know. Okay, where is the address? I don't know. Let us help you to put it on the GPS. I don't even have. So, when you get there, what are you going to do? That will, that will turn you into this blessings that you are anticipating. I don't even know. So, what are you relying on? He said, I should go. And I'm going. People will laugh and laugh and laugh. Many times, it is because you have decided to honor the voice of people. And it is because you have decided to do this, you have lost some blessings. If you delight in the provision of God that we are talking about, then you shun the voice of the people. Because one with God is a majority. Kini won ma so. To ba dro de ki la ye ma so. Koma ba abu mi. Listen. To ba shem cho ye o she. To o de la. Won pa da bu o no ni. O beta kan bu o ni bere. Ko o de ba yi ya ti re lo do lo. So number one principles of divine provision is total obedience to God. A lot of marriages are in shambles today because someone decided not to obey. A lot of destinies is being destroyed today because one parent decided to disobey. Total obedience to God. Total obedience to God. Total obedience to God. Total obedience to God. I told you, this kind of obedience may be inconvenient. It may not be convenient for you, but just obey. This kind of obedience may look stupid, just like Abraham, but just obey. Abraham, sir, what are you doing? Relax, sir. With who? My only son that I love. Abraham, sir, take your son, thy only son, whom thou lovest. Take it to the mountain and sacrifice the son. What kind of son, sir? Abraham, are you listening? Sir, what kind of son, sir? Your only son. I should do what, sir? Take him to where, sir? Mountain. For what, sir? To kill. Yes, sir. And he said, Isaac, let's go. And he took Isaac, not knowing that beyond that test lies a, a, an endless generational prosperity. But he obeyed. He obeyed. Kilon tolu wan bao so lowa lowa to fe bo. Kilon tolu wan bao so lowa lowa to to down. Ounon shokun fa. Ay lowa lowa e. Total obedience. So Elijah was there and the word of the Lord said, go this way. And he went. Verse 2. Number 2 principle. If you are just joining us and you are here to share this live broadcast, I am imploring you to please quickly do that as this teaching is blessing your soul. Ensure that you bless somebody with the grace of the Lord in this teaching. And may the book of remembrance of an unending generational prosperity be open for you as you do this in the name of Jesus. Number two principle of God's provision is that God's provision comes in many ways. God's provision comes in many ways. I told you we are going to be using 1 Kings chapter 17 throughout today. The same first Kings chapter 17, verse 4. And it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook, and I have commanded the ravens to feed thee. God provisions comes in diverse, unthinkable ways. God's kind of provisions comes in unimaginable ways. God's kind of provisions comes in an an unexpected way. That only a kid is more fair. Come on, nigga. The big place your Lord Obama wa. Can one be near or not? You one little or not? Oh Lord, rumba ashoro, lati she ishere. 
onore any can come awa amaridini the ways of god are mysterious to accomplish his works <laughs> are you getting it now his ways no man can determine on sa ashebu dia so the his ways cannot be determined they are unsearchable. They are unsearchable. They are unsearchable. That is the number two, number two principles of provision. But when anybody takes this, your Lord will loan it at a loss, at a loss, at a lot doing. Kotati rebeleje, koma bomi da dao. Many times when you are expecting the provision of God from the north, God may decide to bring his own provision and operate from the south. Idita ashen kweni oba amya sheyo wumiyo. The meaning that my father or my king who does as he pleases. Bible is up your Lord one benyon who show to you. The Bible says our God is in heaven and do it what he pleases. God's provisions cannot be determined. It is in many ways. It is in diverse ways. What am I talking about? God can use anybody or anything to provide for you. God can use anybody or anything to provide for you. Listen, a lot of you are thinking that it is one witches or wizard in your father's house that has been stopping your blessings. No, it is no witch nor wizard. It is you that has been disturbing and stopping your own blessing. Because instead of you to act like David, how? David said, I will look look up my eyes i will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help my help cometh from the lord in me yo build you be sorry okay one me boni in a lower me yo hati wa in a lower to me duty or what now psalm psalm 118 verses 7 and 8 he said oh it is better to trust in the lord than to trust in man it is better to trust in the lord than to trust in princes it is because you have decided to trust in your boss you have decided to trust in your uh, uh, uh in your in your brother you have decided to trust in your husband you have decided to trust in in some mystical helpers and then because of that you have shifted your attention away from god and yet and then uh, establish your confidence on these people based on the kind of promises that they have made to you and by so doing you missed the blessings of God. God's provision are undeterminable, unsearchable, unsearchable. That is principle number two. God's provision is unsearchable. God's provision cannot be determined. That is second principle that you must be living in. What do I mean by that? God can use anybody or anything to provide for you. Now, nibite laija ni agbarade. Esma, nibite laija gbadjumode, nibite laija moyode, atawo bi to ti sise de. His expectation at that time would be Elijah, don't worry. I will I will lift, I will bring a king from the east to come and bless you. I am I am going to I am going to raise a coin from the west to come and bless you. I, I, I am going to send a billionaire from nowhere to take you to his house to begin to take care of you. Till the period of famine in your land will be over. Maybe that was his expectation. But Nibita de Niagbaratui. Nibita de Niabunde. Nibita de Munyade. If you only power, fine, good. You can never go hungry. You can never go bankrupt. So the Lord will send somebody. That was the expectation of Elijah. But the, the Lord told Elijah in verse 4 it shall be. That is what you have decided to do. It shall be, First Kings chapter 17, verse 4, it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook, and I have commanded the ravens to feed thee. So, 
at that time for Elijah to tap into the fullness of God's provision for him, he must look for a brook and he must wait for a raven. Yes, man, if you tell Elijah, Bajuma, they told me, I'm bad, they told them, so you could just pay a yellow man, not if you try to show Am I speaking to somebody now? So you could just pay a year, so they won't look at the year. Anointing goes soften. <laughs> Even the Spirit of God never did not reveal the secret to him. With his, with his fame, with his anointing, with his power, with his uh, popularity, and with his great connection. Was there any expectation that it was an ordinary bird that God will use to provide for Elijah? No. Why? Because his ways are unsearchable. God can use anything to provide for you. God can use anybody to take you out of poverty. All that you need to do is to, is to rely totally on him. Is to rely totally on his power. Is to rely totally on what he can do. But, or what I want can shatter so we could say it there. God, the same business that some people has done or embarked upon, and they came back with law saying there is no profit in that business. God may be leading you in that same business in order to turn you to a billionaire from that same business. So because people are rushing into a kind of business, does not mean you should go, you should join the wagon. People are now selling clothes, people are now selling shoes. People are not doing all sorts of business. That doesn't mean you should join the wagon. Wait patiently and seek the face of God for how he wants to bless you. Listen, I said, God can use anything and anybody. This one will shock you. Do you want me to go on? Do you want me to go on? This will shock you. And what is that? God can use even your enemy to provide for you. For you to know how powerful and how unsearchable is this, God can use even your enemy or your enemies to provide for you. 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 To provide. Ah, my chief, sir, your highness, sir, we heard that the the, the, the Hebrew women, they are given back with ease. And then they are given back to strong men. Yes, we notice through your highness. What do you want, to, what do you want us to do about it, your highness? Rise now. Take my, my warriors with their weapon. And let them begin to go to visit the, the house of the Hebrew and visit their wives. And when they see whoever who is pregnant and giving back to a, a, a male boy... Tell them to kill that male child instantly. That if they find out that anybody give back to a male child in my government, rest my, 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 my soldiers. Tell them to begin to enter their house and kill every male child. Yes, sir. And they went about doing that. And it was around this time that this woman gave back to, to her own child. It was around this time. And, and, uh, and, and he kept this child. For three months. And when he got tired of keeping this child. He was tired. He was tired because of the fear. Of not being killed. And he took the child to the river. By the brook of the river. And left that child. To his fate. And to his destiny. And at this same time. The Lord made the daughter of Pharaoh. To come to the same river. Ejoma Odoko. Nijipti. Tioma Batilewe. Kilo de to ye pio do ta be mose si pe boba le kuko ku to ba le ye ko ye kilo ye to ye o do ye gang 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 ni o ma ba decide la ti wa we. Am I minister to somebody? Before this time, he already wrote me. His mother has lost all hopes that this is the end of this child. At least I won't be guilty. My conscience is clear. I have I have kept this boy for three months, but this is the end. And he left the child by the riverbank to his own fate and destiny. But lo and behold, the daughter, the princess is coming to take her bath at the same river. Why that same river? 
why not another river? Why that same river? Okay, okay. Maybe that was maybe that was the only river. That that's what you are thinking about, right? That's what you are saying, right? That maybe that was the only river. That was the only river in the land, or maybe that was the only royal river. That when royal children, prince, queens, and the likes want to bath, that was the only river that they go to take their bath. But why was it at the time? that Moses was there. Maybe they took Moses, they left Moses there in the morning. Why did she not come in the at night when baby Moses would have died? Oh, my body, what you do? Can't you walk? Tango loba loba ti man wen ye. Eh, eh, ya re be ti o jigbe jade. Remember, he must not be seen. The mother must not be seen with the male child. So she sneaked out with the male child, with that boy. So maybe she woke up very early in the morning, like 4 a.m., to drop the boy there. And she was waiting to see how the boy would die. Now, why is it that the same time that they took Moses there, why is it that it was that same time that she decided to come and take her bath? Why not in the night when the baby would have been dead, long dead? What am I talking about? No matter what you are passing through, no matter your sorrow, no matter your pain, if you wait patiently enough, God is about to bring a miracle out of that pain. Bring a miracle. Somebody begin to pray this prayer. Shout, my father, 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 my father bring a great miracle out of my pain, out of the pains that I'm passing through, out of the problems that I'm passing through. Lord, let there be a great miracle. Father, in the name of Jesus, bring out a great miracle from my pains, from my hardship, from my sorrow, from my tribulation, let miracle come forth out of this pro problem. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. That situation was supposed to kill Moses, but alas, God was bringing a miracle out of that situation. Boy, lazy on top of my pie, I can't me the very prayer point you and me I want to lead to today. My father is talking. My head can't bad well like it. So pray minimum. So pray minimum. So pray minimum. Bo boy shuro tayero pe yo pami bo boy damu. Tomorrow pe yo somi de doani le omu ne kolo la tivi benika person so di adua is shuro. Tomorrow be yo pami is damu. Tomorrow be yo somi de doani le olu alu is shuro nye olu alu is damu nye la tivi somi de Begin to pray this prayer. Repeat after me. My father, my father, my father, my father, my father, my father. Use the pain, use the problems that was intended to kill me. Use it to lift me. Use it to lift me. Use it to lift me. The pains that was intended by my enemies to kill me. Let it be an instrument for my lifting. In the name of Jesus. Begin to pray this prayer. My father, my father, use that problem, use that pain that was intended to kill me. Use it, Lord, as an instrument for my lifting. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. So at that time, when they dropped baby Moses there, the daughter of Pharaoh just came and she saw. Why was her eyes? Why did she decide to look at where the baby was? 
Maybe the baby would have been crying and crying and be tired. But why did she look at that, that junction or that spot? And then she saw the baby. And then she commanded, she asked the baby to be brought. My God is still in the business. And when they brought the baby, they opened. And she was able to recognize the baby. For the Bible says, she said with her mouth that, Behold, this is one of the Hebrew this is one of the Hebrew child. She was supposed to grab the baby. After discovering that it was a boy, she was supposed to grab and throw the baby into the river immediately. But the Bible says something. The Bible says, And the Lord made the baby to obtain it favor. Favor. Ah, The Bible says, And the Lord made the baby to obtain favor from the from the daughter of Pharaoh, Ejeka to Batwa, Edu Ejeka to Batwa, Ah Ejeka Ejeka to Batwa, Ejeka to Batwa. So we minimum, so we minimum, so we minimum. If I'm your royal, let me read you the day. Lord, I want you to fear me. If I'm your royal, let me read you the day. Lord, I want to call it me. And minimum, let it share to you. The conversation she share, ni noye me. The conversation she share, ni noye me. I want to do that. Person, but why? And minimum, if I'm your royal, let me marry you, Julie. Lord, I want to call it me. My father, my father. Those of you praying in English, repeat after me. My father, my father. This afternoon, I ask for the anointing, the anointing to receive favor from my haters, the anointing to begin to receive favor from those that are supposed to kill me. Let that anointing begin to operate in my life, anointing to receive favor, even from my enemies, anointing to receive favor from everywhere I go. Oh Lord, John knew, oh Lord, John knew, oh Lord, John knew, you know, if I'm running away. The anointing to receive uncommon favor begin to operate in my life. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. And that was why Moses obtained favor from his enemy. Principle number two, God can provide for you from anything, from anybody, and at anywhere. That is principle number two. Why am I establishing on this second principle? So that you will trust on no man. People say, Egbe, ni fwe ni to fie nya, ele nwara she, Egbe kele, so that you will take your mind away from your brother in U.S. that has been promising you for the past 10 years. So that you will take your mind away from your cousin in Canada that has been promising to bring you to Canada for the past 3 years. So that you will be able to focus on God. Many times when these people that has promised to help us, many times when they are not helping or when they are unable to help, it is not because they are callous. It is not because they are wicked. It is we that cause it. Because our God is a jealous God. Now, God was walking behind this miracle. When this man promised to take you from your village to America and promised to do green card and citizenship for you. As a matter of fact, it was because of the VOA that you watched. It was because of the prayer on VOA that we prayed together that God raised that man to bring you up from your ministry to your miracle. But the moment you hear that promise, you shifted your attention away from God. And then you began to trust in this your cousin. You began to trust in this your uncle. You began to trust in this your long-time friend that he has promised to take me to Australia. And I know he can't disappoint me. And then you shifted 
your mind away from God. And then you began to trust in this, your friend. You no longer pray to God again. But anytime you want to pray, you pray using the name of this man that has promised. You pray with his picture. And because our God is a jealous God, in order to take your mind away from this fellow and focus on him, he will not make it difficult and impossible for this fellow to help you. Because all your mind and attention had already been focused on this fellow. And you will be waiting for this invitation from America for five years, ten years. And the invitation will not come. And you will be blaming witches. It is not witches. It is because of your foolishness and your unfaithfulness. Our God is a jealous God. So, if you are anticipating for the provision of God in this month, master this principle and begin to live in, in, with it. What is the principle? God can use anybody and anything at anywhere to provide for you. That is the principle number two that I want to hand over to you now. That is the second principle. Or not only you anybody. In 2 Kings chapter 5, ah, would have lost a point number three. Oh. Out of the seven, maybe I'll be able to treat three. Huh? Maybe I'll be able to treat three. Huh? Hmm. Maybe I'll be able to treat three. In Second Kings chapter five, the Bible talked about a man. He was wealthy, powerful, very connected, well influenced. The Bible said, but he was a leper. And I will read this one. I I must I must I must read this one. I must read this one so that you can understand very well. I just I just hope I am ministering to somebody. I just hope the word of the Lord is turning the heart of somebody to begin to do the needful, to begin to do the right thing. I want us to look at the qualities of this man in 2 Kings chapter 5. Now, Naaman, captain of the host of the king of Syria. <laughs> captain, something number one, something one. He was a captain. Captain, not captain of a group. Captain of the host, like God, King of host. He was sharing the same office with God here. Captain of the host. That was a title meant for God. But this man was carrying this divine title. Captain of the host of the king of Syria, number one. Number two, I am in Second Kings chapter 5 verse 1. The Bible says he was a great man. That is number two. Number two. Number three, the Bible says he was honorable. He was an honorable man. One man no, with these qualities. Number four. Number four. Hmm. Hmm. The Bible says he was also a mighty man in Velo. He was also a mighty man in Velo because by him the Lord had given deliverance. He was a deliverer. Five qualities. Five. J E S U S. Five qualities, five like Jesus. Now, King one of your but he was a leper. But he was a leper with all the qualifications given to this man. I want to burn your way. I want to burn your way. The Bible says, but he was a leper. He was great, he was honorable, he was captain of the host, he was a deliverer, he was a mighty man of valor, he was this one, he was famous, he was rich, and don't talk your party all the way. But the Bible did not forget to add that word. But he was a leper. And you can't bad word. So tell me, so we a mimimo, a mimimo, a mimimo. Abanto walara me, ti mo fin juwe me. Hey, oluwa, e nyo koma baduai. Ode Maria anu ba. So pe mi mi mo abanto walara me. Abanto ile baba me la ye me. Abanto ile ya me la ye me. Ti aye fin juwe me. E yu to ti bo go mi mo le. Ki program yu to pare. Owa baralon wo. 
Oyama Mupo, Oyama Mupo, Oyama Mupo, Bessin Badwai, Bessin Badwai, and Mimimo, a Bamoto Walarami, a Bamwile Babami, a Bamwile Yami, Tayefin to Emi, Tayefin Bogo Mimole, Oluwa Keto, Ito Pari, Bello Wagbana. Oluwa mukuro repeat after me my father my father my father my father my father my father the reproach in my life the reproach of my father's house the reproach of my mother's house in my life that people are using that people are using against me to identify me or that that has been used to substitute my glory lord before the end of this live broadcast by your mighty and begin to remove it. Blood remove it. Lord, remove it. Lord, remove it. Begin to pray that prayer. My Father, my Father, Almighty Father, that reproach, that box, that evil mark in my body, the one I inherited from my father, from my mother, that was being used to describe me, that has been substituted, that has been used to substitute my glory. Lord, before the end of this broadcast, by your mighty hand, Lord, remove it completely. And maybe more, I bow to Walarami, Oluwa, I bow to Walarami, Taye fin juwe me, I bow to Ile Baba me, I bow to Ile Ya me, Iti mo fin juwa ngo bi me, Taye fin juwe me, Tito tiwa fe bo go me mo le, Keto ito pari, Ala anu, Belo wa bara, Oluwa moko, Oluwa moko, Oluwa moko, Lord remove it, Lord remove it, Lord remove it, Oluwa yi e moko, En Jesus name, we have prayed. Amen. I want to bless three people. Ade Jokek Joseph, Olale Kambolale, and Remy Uku. These are the first three names that came from behind now. Ade Jokek Joseph, Olale Kambolale, Remy Uku. I decree the name of Jesus, the reproach of your father's house. That bolt in your mother's house that is being used to describe you. On to walare, on to walaye ni, taye fin juwe ni. But boche walara yare no ni, boche walara babare no ni. I speak as a prophet of God, an ordained prophet that is sent to you today. I decree you shall see it no more. After this program, you shall see it no more. After that, no bad boy. A gwa big job, a gwa fig job, two fig job about it. Ah, I get that if you bore. Wanna be yare, she really or go be. Nanny, one else she really or go be. Wanna be a barrel, she lori jabo. Ben, one else she lori jabo. Wanna want you low one lady. What that infamma, her dear dear lara, wanna modo be woody, tarnasia yere. Get to it all party. You will never see it again. 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 As the Lord leave it, as this program is ending today, that reproach is ending. That reproach is coming to an end. Kill nothing going to buy your money. Your budget, money, Baba budget. Come on, do so. She go. She go. Why you about Sherry? On tired thing going. That little thing in your life that is making them to reproach you. As this program is ending today, as we are bringing this live broadcast to this edition to an end, you shall see it no more. You shall see it no more. You shall see it no more. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. Edoma, Edosa. I told you that I don't want to spend too much time today. But Oluwatin, Oluwatin fa program in Jinobai. Oluwatin fa. Egbo. This particular man, Neyman, had been living with this reproach for many years. He had been living with this shame for many years. Not knowing <laughs> that the solution to this generational Egbo, Egbo, Mogban Kakabayu, Bina mani she lowo to nye sa. Bo she lowo to nye ma. Inu bolo mbe. Kogodo ba harie nya. O ni owo lowo. Let me interpret in English because of my English viewer. As as wealthy as Neyman was. As rich as Neyman was sa. Ma. 
He was living in the wilderness, in the bush. He was rich. He built mansion in the city because he was so rich, he was so wealthy. He was able to build a great mansion in the city. But other people that didn't work for this money were the one living in this mansion. He was not living there. He was living in the bush because he was a leper. And in Israel, a leper must not be living with people. Your friends are separating you. They say you don't belong to the same caucus together anymore. They say you don't belong to the same category anymore. They are not separating you. They say mm -mm, you don't belong to our caucus. I decree. Where you have been rejected. Between now and the next 21 days, the glory that we announce you, that will bring the people that have rejected you on their knees to begin to beg you, that glory, that glory, that glory, let it manifest, 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 in Jesus' name. Bina mani she lowo to masa, kole barinya, inu bolongbe, toro dete, are you are you getting it? Na man in new one bank kole na. He had money in the bank, he could not spend it because there was no fingers to count the money, no fingers to count money, and he was rich. This limitation was killing him. But listen to this, he didn't know that he had been living with the with the solution principle number two lawa. I'm trying to explain so that you can get it. He didn't know, sir. Ma, Neman did not know. Don't, don't let anybody hear. That's why I'm saying it silently now. So that you can get I don't want to shout. So that you can get it. Neman, the foolish Mr. Neman, he did not know, ma, that the solution to his problem was in his house. <laughs> he did not know that that poor maid, oh my daughter, we love my daughter, last one, yeah. Go and give go and bring water. Baba no get hand to go to bank. Go and get money for Baba. Baba no get hand to wash clothes. Go and wash Baba's clothes. Poor oh my daughter, poor maid, poor servant. They were sending the girl on ugly errand. He shut down. They run more, run more, run more. Do he? To run, we pay talo b. A job, a car, we move from Muja Dembi. Late ni lo, titi laye. Ma bawa fudu panya remo. Do not underrate anybody. That is the lesson I want to bring up. Listen, if I finish this principle or principle number two, and I'm not able to tell you principle number three, open me, open me, for you to gain something, that's what I'm after. A boy, especially a new Benetton woman, my foot took pain, your eh? My foot drew a model with anybody. A poor do cake, get down here to for you do cake, cake, woo, on Balagara should do. Am I, am I ministering to somebody? Oh, do that better for you, Dini Jetta, or look below. Don't underrate anybody, don't underestimate anybody. Listen to the second principle that we are talking about. Too. What is the second principle? If you remember, please type it. If you remember, please type it. What is the second principle? God can use anybody and anything at anywhere to provide for you. That is principle number two. Let everybody type it out now. When you type it out after this program, go and write it on your wall for people to see. Put it on your Facebook wall, on your Instagram, and tag me. So I can reshare and reblock. Please, the whole world must see this. Principle number two. God can use anybody and anything at anywhere to provide for your needs. Ah, and when you type for your day, you get so so kind of a bush in Are you getting it now? Don't don't underrate anybody. Don't under and it don't for you and I lay in your way. Only Joe and a passion of in no ewa. Oh, my devil, the quombi. Only don't know if you like jelly at all. Don't 
underestimate or underrate anybody in your life. Please, I am begging. I am begging. This poor small girl has been living with Naaman for many years. And Naaman kept to live with his problems for many years. Not knowing. God bless your lady and for worship. Before the end of this year, I will rejoice with you. Maba is shopping la in Jesus' name. Are we getting it now? He had been living with his with his shame. It is Juni. Can you low bay in the coa jadete? It is a shame. And he had been living with that shame, ma, for many years. Not knowing that the solution was in his house. Ah! But one day, a couple times, okay, one day, one day, one day, the girl decided to speak. Mo badwa, mo benito yeko soro. Tayere ofi be se nitu. Between now and the next seven days, or otun ye ko so tayere ofi lujut. Oya ko be se so. Whoever that must speak, whoever that is concealing or concealing any secret, any information in their mind, and they refuse to say it, and you need this information for your next level. Between now and the next seven days, let them begin to speak. Let them begin to speak. You will receive that information in Jesus' name. Are you getting my point now? Are you getting what we're talking about? One day, this girl decided to talk. And said, Oga, Oga, he said, well, what, no, 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 don't disturb me. You this wretched maid servant. He said, Oga, I have an information that can deliver you. He said, eh, where you come? And the girl said, there is a prophet. There is a prophet in my native land. His name is Elisha. I believe that when you see Elisha, your shame will be over. Magbo, Naman has not seen Elisha, but this girl was prophesying in advance. The girl said, I believe. Oh, damn it, Luju, that when you see Elisha, your shame shall be over. Naaman has not seen Elisha, but as Sotele, prophecy has started coming out. As Sotele, Luli, Dinamani, Dodo, Elisha, Mark, Ayadaba, as Sotele, Lobe, Namani, Lobe, Ludo, as Sotele, Lomulada, Mwanso, I am releasing a prophecy. As a prophet now, by the prophecy in the word of God, out of my mouth today, that shame in your life, that reproach in your life, that shame in the life of your daughter, that thing that is giving you concern, what if I'm a and it's giving you source of concern. If I be a prophet, I decree today, that shame has come to an end today. 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 To an end today. In the name of Jesus. Ah, there are by Elisha. No boy at your foot, a rookie. The old guy called Pario only lawyer. As I love our Lindua, no more better battery will be so la. Or do any road is so I gain dope. And they and they traveled and they came to me professional. And that was the end of their problems in the mighty name of Jesus. And when the man came back, he held that maid servant and said, I am sorry. He began to cry profusely. I am sorry. If I had known the miracle I was waiting for, 
was looking me right in the eye. Oh, if I had known the miracle I was waiting for was in the hand of my servant. Elisha came back. When he was healed, when he received his healing, when he was old, when he, when he was made old, when he was made clean, when all the shame, ah, God, <laughs> when Elisha was going, when when Naaman was going to Israel to meet Elisha, he believed the word of his of our maid servant. Most of you, because of your past experiences, eh, boom in your cocoa boma, do not die. Ben your barrow talk, ben your barrow, only raw talk. I must speak it to somebody. Ben your barrow, you know, you want it, eh, you have, you have fallen into the trap of many fake prophets on Facebook. And now you are losing interest and confidence. You are now carrying a mentality that there is no more prophet in the land. I'm not forcing you to trust in my anointing, but I know the Lord is inside of me. And now, when Elisha was, when Naaman was going to meet Elisha, he was singing, I'm trading my sorrow. I'm trading my pain. I'm trading my shame. I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. When he got to Elisha, Elisha said, Naaman, you this stubborn man in my house. Do you believe that my God can do it? Ah, Naaman began to say, Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Amen. He, ah, he believed it. And he began, he began to say, Ah! And Elisha said, Now you will go to the river to bath seven times. And my God is going to heal your life. Ah! And Naaman asked Elisha, he said, do you mean that after this encounter, where I was sent out, my house in Leki, where they sent me out, my house in Ikoyi, where they sent me out, are you saying I will be, I will receive healing, I will be able to go back there? Elisha said, yes. And as we were going to the river, you began to sing, Ebe Tati Yeyemiri. Ye be tati le mi jade e mi mi mo jare mu mi pada lo kin lo shogo le won lori he said elisha are you sure that where they sent me out i will be able to go back there as a normal man not as a leper elisha said as the lord live it and he said ah ye be tati ye ye mi ri I want to be tati le mi jade. E mi mi mo jare o mu mi pada lo. Ki in lo shogo le won lori. Ah, he was singing that song. When he got to the river, he thought it's going to be a very clean, beautiful river, like the rivers in Syria. But it was a dirty pond. At first, uh -huh, alarm don't sound. I'm supposed to end the program now. Me alarm. At first, he didn't want to enter the river because it was smelly. He was actually expecting a very clean pool. He didn't want to enter. But prophet said, you better enter. And while he was entering the dirty river, he was saying, Be no low, low. Be a rani. E mi o mo. O unti mo mo ni pe mo fe shirere. Be no low, low. Be a rani, e mi o mo, o unti mo mo ni pe mo fe shere. Elisha said, o unti e mo ni pe kini, o ni o unti mo mo ni pe mo fe shere. And he did it first time, second time, fifth, sixth, and seventh. And my God, he let him. And when he came back, 
He saw the maid servant. Ah! Ashen to my two a year on she loan for you parent at joy. And the master knelt before the maid servant. He shall not have to fear Lord Boy. Till we have finished the choice, till we have come there, we have to learn more. Lord, we call Jesus. We are not ashamed. We know how to kill the enemy. And he knelt down before the maid girl, and he was saying, "If I had known the miracle I was waiting for was looking me right in the eye, oh, if I had known." The deliverance I was waiting for was right here in your hands. And that was why the Lord performed a great healing in the life of Naaman through an ordinary maid servant. Principle number two God can use anything anybody and at anywhere to provide for you. If it's at a man parish in here, don't underrate anybody. My bow con you in your cookery. Don't underestimate nobody. Don't reproach nobody. My bang on you delay. To the any tone bang you the tole on the kill we all don't care to kill any. Also, we are going to be a man don't. Oh, dear fire. We are body. Oh, she might. Oh, don't care to kill her. What go later on today? Ah. And you don't know that that woman that you are keeping malice is. That you are keeping malice with. That in the next three years, she is going to have access to an information that will liberate you and your children. And now, when the time Calm down because you are not in good times. You don't greet her. How do you want her to reveal that information? Many times, men are the architect of their own problem. It is not witches, it is no wizard. In other words, as I'm leaving you, as I'm going, live right with anybody, live right with everybody, love, show love to people, even when they hate you, when they persecute you, when they are showing you so much hatred, respond with love. Reply them with love. Because you never can tell. Maybe in a few months time, maybe in a few weeks, in a few days, in a few years, maybe they are going to be in the possession of the information that will bring about your elevation. I decree in the name of Jesus that you will not forget the power of God in the world of today. And it's going to bring great vibration to your life and to your soul in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want you to share seven principles. But you know, when you give a teacher a responsibility, I'm not, I'm not a preacher, I'm a teacher by the glory of God. So when you give a teacher a responsibility, we want to explain every word, every punctuation marks, and then put some songs that will make you to remember, make you to memorize it, and not to forget it. That also, I'm, I'm supposed to share seven, but I'm only able to share two. But I hope and I believe that these two that I've shared will bring vibration to your life. Till we come, till I come your way again on Monday by His special grace, we will continue from principle number three. Number four, number five, number six, number seven. Maybe you missed principle number one. You can go after this live broadcast to watch it on Facebook, on my page, on our page, or you can go to YouTube to watch it. Can you please grab your water? I want to pray. I do and go me. I want to spend the next three minutes or they are about to pray. Grab your water. This is mine in my hand. Move it Ah. We ended today's program on the story of Naaman, who had an issue. He had an issue of leprosy. I don't know what issue that you have. That is an issue bothering you, that you can't share with nobody. That is an issue bringing you shame. I don't even know even how to share it with your prophet. You don't have to share it with me. 
We want to take the issue to God in prayer now. Grab your bottle of water as I pray together with you. And after that, drink this water. If you have somebody in the hospital with an issue, take this water to the person on the hospital bed. I'm telling you, as the Lord lived between 24 hours, that person will rise up from the bed of sickness and will begin to jump to glorify the name of the Lord. I release authority in this water and the water in your hands. And I decree as a prophet that as you drink of this water, that shame in your life, that reproach in your life, that ridicule in your life, that situation, that challenges is departed now in the name of Omito Belawaye Mosoro Biwoli Boshemu Agbara Lord in the name of King Anton the Queen where Tolon will fish What is that thing? That thing in your in your life in your body in your mind that the forcefully deposit that they forcefully deposit there that evil deposit in your body, that evil deposit in your life, as the Lord live it, I command it to catch fire. I command it to catch fire. I command it to catch fire. In the name of Jesus, Ibitoro or Ekusi, unto wabayere tofin going, that little thing in your life that is bringing shame, Paint and reproach to you. Agbara to muku la ye ana ni shilo. Agbara to muku la ye namane. I decree in the name of Jesus that pain is living your life today. That shame is living your life today. That reproach is living your life today. In the name of Jesus, Agbara lono. Let the power, the mighty power of God. For great deliverance, let the mighty power of God enter and descend into that water in your hands. Whatever that situation is, whatever that challenge or challenges is, whatever that reproach is, whatever that bot is in your life, as the Lord live it, and as you drink this water, you shall see it no more. You shall see it at Barolonda. Let the mighty power of God visit you. Let the mighty power of God. Somebody is watching us now. And your only the only concern that you have that is making you to watch and pray eagerly. Your only concern is your marriage. You are becoming very fearful about that marriage. That will this marriage not crash? Big Bay, I wish you lush. But long ton shell a lady and me at the or call me. She illeta fi wala call, kick bay away, le bruish. She lay you ne pada da wobai, ma kayadaba. Your concern is your marriage, and you are there, you are watching me. And you are getting scared, you are fearful. You are ashamed. You are thinking, what would people say? Big be what you be away about Boba Lot to Kakila when your mass saw. I want to read my boy. Ni church in your mass boy. Oh, what came Bulumar and see? Eh, oh, what be or a daddy by Adderomisio. I decree in the name of Jesus. Oh, why did you do? She shall tell you that invisible power that you cannot see that is working against that marriage. I command this hand to dry. Let it wither. Let it wither. Let it wither. As you are building up the marriage with your husband. This invisible hand that is pulling it down. I send the word of the Lord into your marriage. 
let this invisible hand dry. In a a a mi mo ja ko ye mi pe ale jo kon le gba. O de ke mi a jeji kan wole. La ti jo ta le jo ye ti ba in la le jo to ti lo. Mi di le nye o ti wabaka na mo. You received a visitor. Ma kayaba saya. You received a visitor. From a long distance. Ale jo ye wa ti ni e gba nyo si le. O de le mi a jeji. Shora gba nyo. O le mi a jeji la la e de ba si le. Ale do yen ti lò, shou men me to fi lè en da yi lè yè rou. A, a kò wè bè, a yè yò pa wè ale do. Mwen yò fi bè rou, da de ni bè kò lò fi mwen. A yè dikri, that evil spirit, that was deposited in your home, in your marriage, in your life. A, a, in that marriage, in that house, that was deposited there to monitor you and to destroy everything that you have gathered, a yè dikri. Ina ko bo ile nye lo wa yi. Ale do nye ko bwi na. Ina ko bo nou be ya wo nye lo wa yi. Esi a jeji ko bwi na. Ina ko bo nou ile re be wa yi. Esi a jeji ni be ko bwi na. In da ne mo e nye kan wo mi lo wa lo. E mwa tin e nye kan de sto bo e. O fe de, o fe de sa Amerika. Amerika lo wa. O fe de sa Amerika. O mbo la, mi, e mi o sobe to chenbo. So bo mbo la ti Afrika o fe de sa Amerika. O de em de sto be pe. E do mo fe de sa do yi. Somebody is coming from Africa and is have been calling you, calling you. Can I please stay in your place for a while? Oh, glory of a ban your phone. Don't do your party of four months. And I think four months is till December. Oh, glory of hell. Ah, come on, don't you want to carry on about delay? I decree. Only shut down up on that delay. That was so good. I did delay. That emissary, that messenger. That is being sent from your village, from your own town, from your local country, to come and turn everything upside down for you where you are. I decree. Ah, Lord, who called Jesus? Eh, me me want say mo. Oba awo ba say mo. Olu a olu a say mo. E keta lele e ganta wa la la le to shubulu o la tara awo mo le. I want to bring the program to a close. Yes, yes, I want to bring the program to a close. E gan kan wa la la le. Ton shubu lo. La ta la wa mo le. You are being reproached for something. Something is bringing shame and pain to you. Something is giving you a great source of concern. Out of what your children or one of your children is passing through. As you drink this water, please don't finish drinking. Write the name of that child or children in a paper. And soak the okay. Drink whatever you want to drink, and make sure that you leave let you leave some leftover in the bottle water like this. Leftover, if you leftover, and see like 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 this level. Write the name of that child or children in a plain white paper. Drop it in the remaining water, and lock it for seven days. Lock it for seven days. That is that is close this bottle water. For seven days, don't open that bottle water for seven days. But you'll be holding it like this to pray. Don't open it. You'll be holding it like this to pray for seven days. Fire your money, Lucy. Genesis chapter one. Read Genesis chapter one from beginning to end, and you'll be mentioning the name of that child or children. That color of what that revisit ye. Ko pa da waye resa agbara titi koshi. Oya biaye la baja o. Komwi ti jure ko. That is, let the power of creation visit the life of, you mentioned the name of that child, and take away every reproach. Pray that prayer for seven days. Agbara ishe da. Agbara tete koshe. Biaye la baja o mo yeme la baja o. Komwe gwa yere ko. Are you getting it now? The Bible says, ha. In the beginning, the Spirit of God was moving upon the waters. Every good thing that was created, that you and I can see and we are benefiting from today, was brought out of water. Please drop his or her name inside this prayer water for today. Lock it for seven days. On the seventh day, unlock, open it after the seventh day prayer. Are you getting it now? If that child is around, 
tu omi e le lori tu le lori dada to mo e ba wa to to ba ti sile ejo keji si ko tu le lori oko fi fori e sugbon ti o ba sintosi tu omi e loruko emi ko tu le dada pe ni bi kibi to ba wa ko wo olorun lo sise ninu aye e i decree in the name of jesus e yi ta ye nri laye awon mo re ti o de ye kan won ri ta wa fi nfa won mo ye bu e that which the world is saying that negative thing that the world is saying in the lives of your children or your child and it's making them to reproach you to mock you because of that child or children and it's giving you concern i speak as a prophet between now and the next seven hours that reproach is gone that mockery is gone that shame is taken away in the name of jesus our bar let the mighty power of God for correction begin one day in your life and the lives of your children. I soak you with the blood of Jesus. I command the blood of Jesus in this water. The blood of Jesus in this water. The blood of Jesus in this water. For everyone that believe it in the name of Jesus and in this calling and mission, as you drink, you will have a testimony. Surely! You shall have a testimony. Thank you, gracious Father, for what you have done for in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Amen. And you have more testimony in your mind. Mothers, I'm expecting your testimony concerning that child. If you need to call me to join you, maybe one day out of the seven days that you are praying, those are the number on the screen. You can call me on any of those numbers. And I'll be able to pray with you. If I'm, if I'm unable to pick your call, send WhatsApp message or text message to me. I'll call you when I'm available to pray together with you. And as the Lord leave it, that shame and the lives of that children or that child shall be turned to glory. In the name of Jesus, but program to a gore dogo or red dio. O padareri je. O guile babare a yondare fun. O guile yare a yondare fun. On tin pogo mo elara. That which is killing glory in your life and your body. As you drink this water, you shall see it no more. That sickness in your body. As you drink this water, receive your healing. That marital difficulty, okay, shoro tiye inu beya ulo fisi. As you drink this water, that marital mountain shall melt away like wax. The Lord shall visit your business, visit your home and marriage. Ah, egbole. The Lord will visit your womb as you drink this water. Ole omoko soya de ninure, ole omoko soni nure. Ole omo ko soni nure. Lora anuba. Oti ribe. Ko jipada. Jesu oluwa wa. Amen. Amen. Amen loro ko Jesu. E gya jojo apwe 30 seconds. Let's dance for 30 seconds. As I bring the program to a close. E gya jojo apwe. Yes Lord. Thank you. Thank you for supporting us. Glory hallelujah. Aha, aha, aha. God bless you, God bless you. Thank you, thank you. See you on, see you on, uh, on Thursday. Joe, 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 Make sure you dance before I close the program. Make sure you dance. Mommy, I did for a Joe, a Joe. Grace, I don't know what she Joe. Ah, Mammy Rachel, I know you can dance. Oh, yeah, dance, 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 dance. Oh, 